Hi everyone, my name is Leila and today I'm going to show you my top 15 green fragrances. Um, today I'll show you the grassy greens, leafy greens, piney greens, all type of greens from budget, niche, category and also for men, women, like unisex type of fragrances. I hope you'll find something for yourself. Uh, as always, I would like to start with a classical fragrance and this is something that I have already shown. Uh, but I still want to uh, mention this fragrance uh, today because it's definitely a very green one. It's Chanel number no. 19 and this is a very uh, classy type of green fragrance that I can easily imagine on men or women. To me this is totally unisex. It smells very expensive. It has some old school roots I would say because it has a Chypre vibes, it has Fougere vibes, it has oak moss, it has galbanum on the top which gives this Shipra the bitterness as well. But uh, for me, this is absolutely timeless, all-time classics that really gives you, um, uh, that reminds you of the uh, awakening nature, the springtime. And I think this is a perfect fragrance for springtime, for the office, it's quite serious. So um, I think this uh, perfect uh, fragrance uh, that I think can be even shown to the young people as an example of um, what a good taste uh, smells like. Uh, the next fragrance is also a classical and also comes from the very old time, from 1975. And this is uh, Grey Flannel from Jeffrey Bean. And I know that there, are lots of, there is lots of hate to this fragrance in the fragrance community because people think that this is very old grandpa type of fragrance. But to my nose, because it's so green, um, it's so refreshing. I don't feel um, anything like this. However, yes, it does remind me of the um, of the colognes that my dad used or my grandpa used before. But I think uh, this is again something like Chanel number no. nineteen, some kind of um, all-time um, timeless uh, fragrances like masterpieces that will be with us all the time. They need to be with us just to show what a good taste smells like again. For me, um, the start of this fragrance, it reminds me of a very wild um, North European um, forests. The start of this fragrance smells exactly like a Viking would smell because it's very foresty, very green, um, very um, bright uh, and dark at the same time because it also has the notes of galbanum. It also is very mossy. The middle notes, they uh, are quite flowery and powdery. Uh, and to my taste, this might smell like um, a gentleman, uh, but not the English type of gentleman, I would say. Um, because it has that freedom and wildness in this fragrance, it reminds me of um, Italian um, gangsters wearing uh, beautiful expensive suits made out of grey flannel by the way and beautiful hats, uh, smoking expensive cigars. It's really done perfectly and this is really a classical and timeless um, composition for me that uh, I think it deserves a lot of attention and uh, this fragrance is quite potent, it's long-lasting, it's loud. But I think this is a perfect barbershop fougere uh, classical one um, so if you like uh, this timeless classical chypre fougere type of fragrances because it has oak moss it has galbanum on the top um, it has lots of green notes so if you like fragrances like that you will definitely um, find this one uh, attractive but uh, i need to say that this is a very masculine type of fragrance for sure um, you need to uh, like uh, pure masculinity to, uh, you know, uh, to appreciate this fragrance. The next fragrance was created by three very famous uh, perfumers, um, Alberto Morelius, um, Jacques Cavalier and Terry Wasser. And this is a perfume from Calvin Klein, it's called Truth. Um, and I already showed this one in my budget fresh type of fragrances, but being fresh it's at the same time very, very green. Um, it's very grassy, it's very watery at the same time, it's like transparent, quite cold, fresh, um, zesty at the same time, I would say. When you smell this, you straight away imagine a freshly cut green grass 
um, it has the clover notes, it has the bamboo notes, um, it definitely has some flowers in the middle notes like um, lily, like peony. So it's quite beautiful, very refreshing, uplifting type of fragrance. Um, it creates a, a very positive um, mood. Um, so I would say it's quite young, very easy to wear. You can equally wear it with a formal suit or shirt or t-shirt and jeans. So it's very easy to wear. I wouldn't say it's uh, long lasting. It has quite an average uh, lasting power and the same projection, like quite an average projection. But um, this is quite a budget type of fragrance, so it can easily be refreshed during the day. Uh, the next one is the fragrance that I wear today and this is a Green Lover by uh, Lolita Lempica. Uh, this is also very beautiful, but to me this is like a green gourmand type of greenness because um, when I smell this one, I want to drink it for sure. It reminds me of um, gin tonic because this has the notes of gin. Um, it has uh, peppermint, it has uh, uh, some vanilla, also lots of vanilla I would say. But having that much of sweetness and vanilla, this fragrance is still very transparent and cold and green at the same time. Um, as I said, this is like a gin tonic that you want to drink, to drink during the hot summer day uh, because it has some coldness, it has a little bit of bitterness, it has a lot of um, uh, citruses on the top, like green mandarins. Um, and this vanilla doesn't make this fragrance sticky, sweet or syrupy at all. It stays cold and st stays pr transparent. That's why I can easily imagine this fragrance during the hot summer days as well. So today we have 30 plus uh, degrees Celsius and I'm wearing this fragrance and I'm absolutely happy. Um, so it this marketed as a, a men's fragrance, but I adore it and we wear it together with my husband, but uh, I, need, I have to admit I wear it much more and I get a lot of compliments because this is an easily crowd pleaser and people around you will, you know, will fall in love with this fragrance and they will ask you what are you wearing because this is quite a projecting and long lasting type of fragrance. The next fragrance is the most complicated complex and controversial um, type and polarizing type of fragrance and of course this is a fragrance from the Mugler house and I think this is the um, the, the, the most controversial house um, among designer brands uh, and I love it I'm a big fan of uh, Terry Mugler's house this one is Aura and I would say this is a green potion this is a witch and a goddess in the same bottle um, this fragrance is pure green it's very green by the way it has a note of tiger liana uh, that's the special um, accord that was created for particularly for this fragrance accord that it has is very green but it's not like um, uh, piney green or grassy green or leafy green no it's the general accord of the tropical and jungle type of greenness. It's very damp. Uh, some sort. Of, it, it has some swampy mm, swampiness, like it's a bit swampy. Um, it uh, at the same time being so green, wet, damp, and swampy. It is very sweet. It's like straightforward sweet. It's not. It's not like a sweet undertone somewhere there on the bottom. No, it's very sweet. Uh, it has a lot of vanilla. The, the sweetness that it has, I would compare with the uh, typical gourmand fragrances, like that sweetness. It can sometimes feel like a sticky sweet. Um, and um, together with the greenness, this smells very um, unique, I would say. Very unique, but some might say um, a bit, a bit funky, I would say. So even if you are a big fan of Mugler's house and you like controversial fragrances of them, I wouldn't anyway suggest you to buy this blindly because this is not a safe blind buy at all. Like I um, didn't understand this fragrance from the first sniff. Like I tried it first um, in the store, then second time and only third time I realized that yes, I like it and I want to buy a full bottle. 
so this is um, a very long lasting uh, very this is like a badass of the perfume it's loud it's screaming and the best weather for me to wear this per perfume is the humid weather when outside is uh, around 70 percent of humidity and hot uh, i like to wear this one it um it is gorgeous i think this fragrance was created for such a weather in that case the sweetness of this fragrance it, it becomes um very subtle and the whole fragrance softens a lot and um that's why i like to wear this during the very hot humid days um again it's long lasting but in that case it doesn't project so wildly and aggressively it becomes softer much softer so aura from terry mugler um, i think it's very interesting and as i said the most complex and polarizing fragrance in today's list <clears throat> uh, the next fragrance is from dolce and gabbana and this is the velvet line um, I'm a big fan of this line. I think they have lots of fragrances, beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous fragrances in this line. And this one is Velvet Pure. This fragrance is all about the fig leaves, a green, um, a bit sweet, just a tiny bit sweet, uh, milky, like tonic, um, green uh, fig leaf. It has uh, some flowers in the middle notes and uh, these flowers give uh, just a little bit of sweetness to this uh, fragrance. In the whole in general I would say it's very green, it's very fresh, it has a little bit of galbanum on the top uh, which makes it a little bit bitter um, especially on the top and then uh, what I have in the base is as I said uh, a bit lactonic, milky, um, green uh, leaf, the fig leaf mixed with a little bit of vetiver and it has a little bit of uh, sweetness uh, undertone so in general i would say this is a perfect fragrance for hot weather for springtime when you want to have something green but at the same time just a tiny bit sweet um, i like it i like it a lot i would say i, would, I love it because um, being so fresh and green at the same time this fragrance is very long lasting um, it lasts on my clothes, I would say, um, days and days until I wash it. And for such a fresh, clean and green fragrance, I would say this is a phenomenal um, longevity. Another fragrance is from the Cartier house. Um, and I'm a big fan of this house. I would say they have perfect, amazing fragrances. And this is one of them. This is by Zer Volet. And this fragrance is also about green notes and about the lily. But it's very interesting lily, it's not um, a lily that we are used to, um, the, the smell which is quite pungent normally. I don't like um, lilies as the fresh, fresh flowers because um, they are um, the headache inducing type of flowers. Uh, the smell is quite sharp and strong. But here the lilies are like a water lilies, like a watered down lilies. To me, the whole fragrance smells like a very green, um, uh, juicy stems and leaves of the lilies together with the flowers that uh, are put in the uh, cold, cold water. So this is quite green, very cold, a refreshing, um, invigorating type of fragrance. I would say it's quite unique. The, it smells quite unique and I would say it has niche quality definitely to it. It's quite again long lasting for being such a fresh fragrance and um, I'm a big fan of this. It smells as I said very fresh. It helps you to cool down during a very hot weather. I used this when it was 35 um, plus. I was wearing a white linen shirt and the combination of the linen shirt and this fragrance was perfect, just perfect. The next green fragrance that I think men will appreciate more than women. Um, this one is from uh, Italian house Lorenzo Valoresi and this is uh, Piper Negrum. This all fragrance is about the greens mixed with the uh, black pepper. So the name of this fragrance is um, translated as the um, uh, black pepper and the, the whole fragrance, especially on the top, it has the um, spicy or black pepper notes, 
but the heart and the whole fragrance is all around the greens but not like the grass greens or leafy greens those are the um, uh, oregano mint probably basil, basil but uh, I, I'm not sure that basil is mentioned in the um, list however um, I can feel it easily and even my son could say could feel that he said oh this is all about the basil I would say this mint oregano it has rosemary I think it has lots of different um, Provence type of greens um, smells really really refreshing and green and this is the aromatic fougere type of fragrance I would say and I think mostly men prefer this type of uh, fresh uh, spicy green fragrances and I bought this one for about $15 here online on Amazon they had a huge sale I think for Lorenzo Valoresi fragrances and amazing for I think this 30 ml is enough for me just to you know to get all the pleasure that I uh, need from this fragrance and this is a perfect fragrance I like it a lot um, in general I like the whole house of Lorenzo Valoresi I have three more fragrances and I really like them so we have finished with the first row let's continue with the second one and I'll start with the fragrance from uh, Quinto Canto or Vicanto and this is the fragrance of Paolo Terenzi um, this one is Ensis and this is a very beautiful green very green fresh sweet um, a little bit sweet I would say especially in the base it has the sweetness of the uh, berry notes like uh, to me this is like an abstract berry however in the notes they mentioned the black currant uh, it has definitely the greenness of uh, the black currant leaves uh, in general the greenness of the probably other leaves mm, it has the very cold uh, accord I feel it like an aldehyde uh, but in in the list they mentioned the metallic notes uh, however I wouldn't say that this is metallic to me this is quite um, cold like aldehyde type of coldness uh, it also has some cacao I think notes on the base it's definitely different from whatever um, Paolo Terenzi created um, I mean from what I heard from what I've smelled and I have in my collection and I have quite a lot of his fragrances this is completely different and to my nose this is very attractive and it deserves a lot more attention that it has this is a beautiful cold a bit sweet um, very fresh um, fragrance I would say if I didn't know that this created by Paolo Terenzi I would say this is something from um, I don't know from Amir Kutal probably or from L'Artisan Parfumer so very um, refined and um, thin uh, very polished and beautifully made um, fragrance so uh, bravo bravo for this fragrance to Paolo Terenzi the next fragrance is also a budget type of fragrance uh, but very beautiful and it deserves again much more attention than it has this is from DKNY this is woman it's not the energizing it's just a woman I also showed this fragrance in my fresh fragrances collection uh, video if you haven't watched it by the way I'll leave the link in the description box this fragrance is so energizing it's so beautiful I, I've never imagined that the tomato leaves could make the floral fragrance so beautiful on the top this uh, greenness of those um, tomato leaves it makes it very fresh and zesty at the same time it has also lots of um, citruses on the top it has a lot of florals in the middle um, by the way it has a huge uh, pyramid if you look in the fragrantica you will say a lot of lots of no notes um, in the middle I think it has two types of water lily the yellow one the ordinary one um, I don't remember what are the other flowers but definitely you know there are lots of them there it also has a suede accord on the base it has a birch in the base so it's very unique I would say um, it has definitely some niche qualities to it so if you want to wake up in the morning uh, and you're very sleepy and you need something you know just spray this one you will just you know you will wake up 
like if you had an ice uh, shower, something like that. So uh, beautiful, cold, fresh, green, unique, I would say, and uh, quite a budget one and long lasting, by the way. The next fragrance uh, is by Le Artisan Parfumer, and this is Premier Fig. And this fragrance is also a devotion to a fig leaf, but it's quite different from the Dolce & Gabbana's one. This one is very pleasant, lactonic also, uh, also sweet, but it's a different type of sweetness. I would say uh, it's a lactonic type of sweetness because to the m uh, milkness of the green uh, fig leaf, um, they added also the um, almond milk, they added the coconut, and I feel it like a co coconut milk. Uh, and it has some sweetness definitely because it has some uh, dry fruits. So this one is also a type of uh, greenness that I uh, admire. I, I love it because it's sweet and green at the same time, but not again too sweet. It's not a uh, syrupy sweet or gourmand type of sweet. It's just um, a perfect amount of sweetness that gives some probably um, interest and character. Green, fresh, but at the same time a little bit sweet, which I think is much more interesting than just fresh and green type of fragrances that we have lots of them. The sweetness adds some character to the fragrances, I think, and um, it makes them more attractive, I would say. So um, this fragrance is um, most of the time compared to Diptyque's Philosophers. Um, the bestseller from Diptyque, I would say. Um, I tested uh, Diptyque Philosophers uh, in the Diptyque boutique here in the mall, and it didn't it, it didn't wow me, uh, frankly speaking. Probably I expected too much. I don't know, but this fragrance to me is much better because uh, again, that fragrance was uh, I couldn't even um, identify the fig leaf note there. I could say. Uh, it was something like a green peach or a green apricot to me in, in the thick one. The only downside of this one is the longevity. It has average or even below average longevity. Uh, in this hot climate, uh, this fragrance evaporates quite quickly, um, within one hour, I would say, even from the close. So, uh, but because it is so beautiful, um, gorgeous fragrance, I would love to smell it longer. So the next fragrance is also about green fig leaves, but this is quite a budget one and this is from Ferrari and this is Noble Fig. And by the way, the uh, packaging uh, creates the impression of a very expensive fragrance because the glasses are very good, high quality, very heavy and heavy metallic cap with the leather and logo, I don't know, um, it looks and smells to my taste, uh, much more expensive than that it costs. So this is all about the green, zesty, fresh, uh, citrusy also um, fig leaf mixed, like the fig, the greenness of the fig leaves mixed with uh, pink, pe pe pink pepper and um, citruses. And this is quite, um, again, energizing, very fresh, um, very transparent type of greenness that reminds me of the colognes more than the uh, EDT or EDP and the longevity of this fragrance is also very, um, I would say, poor. Um, it's compared more again to the colognes, but for this fragrance I think we can forgive uh, that longevity because again you can always refresh uh, and this fragrance is about 15 to 20 dollars you can always repurchase. So um, quite nice, I would say. I saw in the Fragrantica people compare it to a very expensive fragrance from uh, Armani Privé. It's also about figs. So um, I can imagine, I didn't test that one, but I can imagine they could easily smell very similar because this one is also of a very good quality. So the next fragrance is from Niche brand. It's called Nishane, and this is Wulong Chai. It's a Turkish um, niche house based in Istanbul and I have one more fragrance from this house which is Annie. I loved it. I loved that fragrance and that's why I decided to go for this one. This one is very fresh, green, um, very zesty on the top. Um, this fragrance is all about the green tea mixed with bergamot, mixed with citruses like oranges, mandarins. It has some lychee notes. It definitely has some sourness. 
it's not only the uh, skin of the um, citruses but also the uh, flesh so it's it's beautiful it's very invigorating it's a very uplifting fresh and zesty type of uh, green tea fragrance that um, I really liked and um, I liked the longevity of this fragrance because being such a fresh green tea fragrance it, it lasts on my clothes I would say it lasted all day long and even the next day I could still smell it so this is a beautiful in case if you are a big fan of the green tea notes like Elizabeth Arden type of fragrances uh, but you're looking for more refined, more niche, more polished, more expensive smelling type of fragrance, I would suggest you to try this one. Um, I'm sure you'll like it because this is quite an easy to understand and very easy to wear type of fragrance. And I would say uh, during this hot wet weather, this is definitely what you need, like cold, um, iced type of um, green tea fragrance and this definitely will get you a lot of compliments because again this is very easy to understand and easy to like type of fragrance. The next fragrance is from Designer's House, it's from Valentina and this is Valentina Donna Rosa Verde. I have it in a small uh, bottle 10 ml because I already have Nishane Wulong tea and that one is also about tea, this one is also to me about the green tea um, they are comparable, I would say, in terms of um, being uh, green tea type of fragrances. This one also has some um, citruses and petrograin on the top, uh, some mate on the base, and that mate is, to me, very similar to just the green tea note. Um, it also has some floral notes in the middle, which I, frankly speaking, don't feel that much. It's like a green tea with um, addition of some um, floral notes, maybe the petals of the rose or magnolia, but very um, subtle, I would, I, I would say, not prominent floral notes for sure. So um, it has some musk on the top and that musk makes this fragrance uh, quite uh, long lasting, I would say, especially on the clothes, it lasts the whole day long. It has a projection, it has a longevity. However, this fragrance is already discontinued and probably you will not be able to find it. Um, in the stores, definitely you will not find it, but online it's still available. You can still find it. Uh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, again, cold um, green, uh, green tea mixed with uh, rose petals, probably. This is how I would describe this fragrance. And the last but not least is uh, from the house uh, Goutal Paris. Before it was Annick Goutal, I think. This one is Bois de Adrien, and this fragrance is about evergreen forest because it has all uh, evergreen notes that possible. It's it has um, pine, it has cedar, um, it has um, something else. I don't remember. So to me, this smells like a really really green um, uh, evergreen forest. Uh, with some sweetness again underneath. Uh, it's like if this forest grows on the sweet um, soil because it definitely has sweetness, which is not mentioned by the way in the um, list of notes because it doesn't have any anything that would say that this fragrance could have some sweetness, not at all. Maybe the list of notes that is on Fragrantica is wrong because this fragrance uh, has uh, it, it comes in two bottles, in two, in two versions for men and for women. This one is a woman's version, um, but I don't know how the men's version smells like. They say they're similar, but again, there is some confusion, I think, uh, in these two fragrances. But mine is definitely uh, smells like a sweet forest. These two very controversial notes, like greenness, especially the evergreen uh, trees, uh, greenness, mixed with the sweetness, it's so um, controversial and polarizing, but at the same time so attractive and well-made, especially here, that I started looking and searching for something similar. And I would say um, the, same, um, the, the same vibes that I get from this fragrance, I get from the Dolce & Gabbana's Pure and um, uh, Quinto Canto's uh, Ensis. Uh, so they are quite similar in terms of um, uh, composition, 
not like this they, they don't smell similar at all they're completely different but the main idea of uh, creating something green plus sweet um, is the same and I would say I will add here also the L'Artisan's um, Premier Forget so beautiful excellent longevity beautiful sillage and projection everything is here and I also adore this bottle it's very very beautiful well made um, adorable beautiful bottle so um, I think this is all for today I hope um, you liked those green fragrances and if you have in your uh, collection some green fragrances please let me know because uh, I have a stage of you know um, appreciation high appreciation of the green fragrances and uh, I would really love if you could uh, give me the idea of other green fragrances that you have in your collection and you love and you use um, thank you again for watching and um, if you haven't subscribed yet I invite you to subscribe to my channel and also press that notification bell not to miss the next video I also invite you to visit my Instagram page because there I, pub I publish the new newly bought fragrances newly bought bottles and if you're cu curious just have a look and again thank you so much for watching me I wish you the best weekend a uh, very good week ahead and I hope to see you in my next videos bye